tonight's power rankings, the original ones, the most ridiculous lawsuits of all time, well, of the year anyway, or maybe we should say lawyers gone wild. Take the case of the Washington, D.C. administrative law judge who sued his dry cleaner to the tune of 65 million bucks for re misplacing his pants. Remember that? Turned out it was the judge who lost more than his pants. The case was tossed out, and shortly after that, he was tossed out of his job. Joining us now with his power rankings, the most ridiculous lawsuits, celebrity attorney Jeffrey Steinberger. Great to see you, Jeffrey. You too, David. All right, let's start with number five, Spago's Valet. Spago Valet, guy comes in, he looks around, he sees Rolls Royce, Mercedes, Maserati, and he's driving an Audi. He ain't taking that. That ain't happening in his world. He comes in and he sues Spago and he says, that's unlawful discrimination. Not against me, but against my car. No Audi gets, no Maserati gets a better spot than my Audi. Oh, man. That's he, one. Did he win? Did he lose? No, 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 no. They never win. They always okay, lose. Okay, they lost. Number four, Mummy is the is the title of this one. In California, guy sued his mother. Okay, David, you're really not going to believe it. This is like the epitome. The epitome. He sued his mom because when he was born, he wasn't big enough. And to guy, big enough. Not tall enough, big enough. He sued his mother he for sued that? sued his mother because he had this feature thing that was with his girlfriend, and he sued his mom. And, and his it didn't girlfriend go to trial. And it went, no, it went to court. Went and to it got court. dismissed on some right. judge. It was dismissed. It just shows you how crazy these things are. crazy and wacky. Number three, are. McDonald's. Now, we're not talking about the person that spilled the coffee on no, herself. No, no, this is, this is the different. Ohio. That woman actually won. That tell woman us actually about won one. about $150 million yeah. or whatever. But this is the other guy. This is the moron guy. This is the great guy. This is the guy who goes through a drive through big trucking burly guy. What is five Matt Big Macs? What is supersized French fries, five coats, has the whole thing in his in his thing, and he's trying to deal with he's in the drive through. Instead, he's drinking and eating, and he drives through and smashes through the plate glass <laughs> drive through window. God. And then he sues McDonald's for failure to warn that you can't Oi. eat and Oi. drive at the same time. Oh. This is a loony or what? Unbelievable. Number two, Hooters. I love this one. Hooters. The guy goes in, hey, this one got a dollar verdict. This one wasn't bad. Guy went in for big, 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 beautiful, and bad and sexy. Got bad, ugly, and really bad. So in other words, he was claiming that these commercials that we're looking at right now was false advertising. When he went in there, they didn't look at all like that. They look like nothing well, like that. Well, of course they no, don't. No, no, but no, no, he won? He won? Yeah, he won a dollar. Because you know what? He brought the pics in, and these were the worst food as girls you ever yeah, seen. Yeah, but still the court time. I mean, you know, there, there are folks out there that deserve to be in court, but not you this. Get, David, you don't get justice. You get law. All law right. is law. Number one, Budweiser. I love this one. Budweiser. The swinging parties, the gals laughing, the friends, all the stuff. The guy looks at it and says, I'm going to have that life. All I got to do is order a bud. All I do is drink one bud, and I got a great life. Uh, he orders the bud, looks around. There's no friends. There's no women. There's nothing. I'm all alone. Minute, wait, I'm the wait, loser wait, wait, that I, I always was. This guy wasn't serious. I mean, he can't be serious when you're suing like this. He's it. real serious because he filed a complaint. He filed it. But he it must it be some lawyer somebody. pushing him on, right? It may not have been a lawyer. It may have been somebody else, but he got through All right. It. By the way, all of these cases made me wonder whether we should have what they do in Britain where the loser pays the price of the court. Well, that's a whole different story. That's loser Should pays. we do that? We should have something like that so that it stops the frivolous lawsuits, but the judges themselves can vet out these lawsuits. Most of these lawsuits yeah. never get to trial. Most of these lawsuits are out on summary judgment within the first 30 days or 60 days. It's a judge's responsibility. Judges they got to take up that responsibility. They know this stuff when they All see right. it. Come on, Jeffrey Stein. Come on! <laughs> Jeffrey Steinberg, we're going to see you later. Okay.